Changing the rear brake pads on your motorcycle is an easy job that does not require you to go to a mechanic if you follow the simple tutorial. Oh, The 1200 GS comes with Brembo calipers and I opted to change the factory pads with new Brembo pads. Now Brembo provides 8 different choices for the 1200 GS which are suited for different uses. I decided to go for the road carbon ceramic which is an organic compound that Brembo describes as high mileage and good performance when hot and cold, dry and wet. Basically the road carbon ceramic will last a long time since it's a rear pad which doesn't get too hot under load. For the front ones, I'll probably go for the Brembo Road SA, which is a sintered compound specifically used in front brake applications where the load and heat are much higher. Now, let's get to work, shall we? All right, step number one is clean your bike, wash your bike. There's no point in working on a dirty bike. The next thing we need to do is remove the, the mud guard and that is being held in by three different T30 screws. After removing the mud guard we need to take out these two pins here. Next we need to unclip the ABS sensor from the brake line. Next we need to remove the calipers by taking out these two T40 bolts. Next we're going to take out the connecting rod. There we go. Now this needs to be cleaned and lubricated again before we put it in. All right, next we should just wiggle the caliper so that we don't have any surprises when we install the new pads. Just so we can compress the cylinders more. And then we can take out the pads. That's one. That's two. Now while we have the caliper detached, we can take a look at it and inspect it. All right, to make everything easier when installing the new pads, we can compress the cylinders by hand. All right, time to install the new pads. We'll do the left one first or the right one first. Should just slide in. Now we'll put the left one in. The next step is to take this connecting rod, clean it and lubricate it again. Now the lubricant that I found for this is this, it's a ceramic lubricant. Any copper or high heat resistant one will work. Put a couple of drops of lubricant on it, not a lot. In through the first one, in through the second one and in through the end. Now, the next thing you want to do, and this is very important, Take these gloves off. These are very greasy at the moment. You don't want to touch any other part of the caliper or of the pad. So just take them off and change them with new ones. Next, we need to install the safety pins back. 
That's one. And that's another. The next step is to install the caliper again to put in the two screws, the T40s. What I do recommend for them is to put some thread locker. This is the one that I found. Just put some thread locker on it so that you can be safe on the road. These are pretty important screws. According to the service manual, this should be tightened to 24 Newton meters. So let's do that now. Don't forget to clip the ABS sensor again. And all that is left is to install the mud guard again, which we're gonna do right now. These three screws should be tightened to 8 newton meters according to the service manual, but you know what? 8 newton meters is whatever you tighten it to. That's, that's the definition of it in the newton meter dictionary. Good, good job. Let me know in the description below what brake pads you prefer for your bike. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe to more of my behind the iron curtain videos where you can see what it's like to be a biker in Romania. And if you want to see behind the scenes exclusive footage, don't forget to go to our Patreon page, which is in the description below. Your help is really appreciated. Cheers and see you in the next video.